This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more tips and techniques. In this video we're going to talk about loner cells and getting more information from loner cells even if we can't populate them. This is puzzle number 91 from Sudoku to Go volume 87 by Soap Opera Digest. We're going to look at this loner cell right here. This is a loner cell because it's the only cell in this square that's not populated that's outside this column. When you see a loner cell like that, you can look at the numbers outside the square that are in this column or in the given column or row and see if you can find one that's not already in the square. So in this case, 38569. 38569. Um, they're already all in there, so, and in this scenario, you've only got one cell that's outside of this square that's not populated, and one cell inside this square that's outside this column that's not populated. So, therefore, this cell and this cell have to be the same number. We can narrow this one down by looking at the options here we've got. We've got four numbers that are missing here and four numbers that are missing here and they're the same numbers. Here we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, four, seven. We're also missing one, two, four, seven in this column. So let's look at this square this cell right here and see what numbers we can eliminate. Well there's a 4 here so that has to be a 1, 2, or a 7. But down here there's a 4 here so that can be 1, 2, or 7 but we also notice there's a 1 here so that can only be 2 or 7 therefore this can only be 2 or 7. Because it's a loner cell we can get more information from it. So that's the end of this lesson. For more information and tips and techniques, go to sudokuprimer.com.